This crime spree is once again raising awareness about mental health, how police deal with someone in crisis, and how to prevent a mental health crisis from reaching this level. Ms. Forrest, Joseph Olmo, is live. He talked to the new Carrollton police chief this morning. Joseph, what did you learn? Hey, Malek, good morning. It certainly was a, uh, a, a genuine conversation this morning about a pretty serious issue. You know, in the wake of the crime spree that we saw on Monday night and into Tuesday morning, and authorities now saying that they believe the suspect was experiencing some sort of mental health crisis, we wanted to talk about an issue that's uh, getting more and more attention nationally, but also right here in the DMV. Now, a disclaimer, the chief of the New Carrollton Police Department did not talk about the investigation into this crime spree. That's because he's not handling it. It's the Maryland Attorney General's office who's handling this investigation. Either way, he offered some important insight into mental health and said a lot of it just starts with having a conversation. They need to know that someone is here to listen and someone's here to help. In his nearly two decades as head of the new Carrollton Police Department, Chief David Rice has learned that very powerful lesson. The sad thing about police officers is once we come to the scene, you know, the first thing that the people see is our uniform. And our uniform, and they are immediately threatened by our uniform. We're here to do something. They don't know that. No, that's not why we're here. You know, we're here to help you. Chief Rice tells News 4 that he's seen conversations about mental health grow in recent years, especially when it can relate to violent crime, an issue that's top of mind, not just here in New Carrollton, but across the DMV. We got a lot of families out there, you know, that are affected by mental health. What can we do to help them? Mental health is not new. It's always been there. It's just now, uh, over the last probably, what, 10 years, uh, we're identifying all of this. And Chief Rice says the answer to that question very often starts at home. Because people talk before they act a lot of times. And they start making weird comments that just uh, the family members go, man, that's, that's an odd, odd thing to say. You know, but those are key indicators that, hey, look, pay attention and um, maybe have a conversation. You, the, the mother or father or brother or sister, you know, have a conversation. It's as simple as having a conversation, something this chief does every day when he gets home, even on those especially hard days. Police officers always see the worst of people at their worst time. That's just how that is. Um, that's why we're called in. When I go home, talking is the key. Talking is the key, having those conversations. By the way, it's worth noting here that statistics show, Millette, that most of the people uh, who, excuse me, hold on, let me just read here. Most people with mental health conditions aren't more likely to be violent than anybody else. That is according to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, who says that only about 3 to 5% of violent acts can actually be attributed to somebody who is going through a serious mental illness situation. Uh, one more thing to note, we expect within the next 20 days to get body camera footage of that final confrontation between the new Carrollton police officers and this suspect who they ended up uh, shooting and killing. Back to you, Millette. All right, Joseph. Uh, good information there. Thank you so much.